Welcome, Andy. Uh, congratulations on your big win here at the train wreck in Lake Eustace, Florida. Uh, what can you tell us about you know, what came to mind, what you were thinking about as you competed today, what are the things that worked out for you, maybe some of the things that didn't work out for you? Yeah, well, we had seven great races, great conditions, a lot of boats, so the competition was really good. The starting lines were long. Uh, once those starting lines get that big, one of the things I like to do is I like to divide the race course in half and determine which side of the race course I think has more wind. Maybe a side of the race course has less waves, so it'd be faster to sail up wind. Uh, and then I'll determine that. And then in the last minute or two, I'll really look at where the wind is once the gun goes off. I want to be in pressure once the start is taking place. And that really worked, this regatta. I, was, I felt like I was in good positions off the line, but most importantly, I was in wind once the gun went off. And so I you know, had good starts. And that was a big part of it. And that makes a huge difference. Getting off the line quickly, getting out ahead of the rest of the boats, is that, that's a big part of, of doing well in any race, isn't it? It is, as long as the shifts go your way. A few times they didn't go my way. But you know, if you're in that frontier, it makes the race, you have more clear air. So it makes it a little easier. So a real baseline thing is divide the course in half, look for the pressure, start in pressure, and that's gonna help you get a good start in the big fleets.